this week I decided to get my buddy Jared Smith on, see what he's up to. We decided to talk about some WTF moments and also some look ahead lines for the week. The first three weeks it was all favorites and overs and now it seems like it's all dogs and unders and you no, know you got to be careful. The NFL has got a fickle way of making you feel like you don't know anything. Yeah, speaking <laughs> of speaking of you know just craziness, I kind of want to talk about some like also WTF moments from this week like McCarthy and Gaze kicking field goals when they're down by like 24. Like what what is going on? There's only 32 jobs in the entire league, in the entire world for being an NFL head coach. So I agree. I think it's pretty alarming that so many of the average normal decisions that you and I would make throughout the course of watching a game are like foreign concepts to these coaches. You're right. We're watching the game. We're like, what are you doing, Mike McCarthy? You're down 28 to three. I just don't. Being down 28 to six makes no sense. It's fourth and 10 at the 40. Just go for it. I wanted to rip my hair out. <laughs> yeah. And, and that's, it's frustrating because as betters, we have different views of it. But even as like a, a fan, like if I was a fan of the Cowboys, not even betting on them, just a fan of the Cowboys and I'm watching that, I'm like, what are you doing? Like, what, like, what, like, where are we going with the field goal here? And as a Jets fan, I can tell you firsthand, um, Adam Gay should have been fired a million times this season. All right. I mean, it's, it's really pathetic and it's not a surprise. You just mentioned the two head coaches, Mike McCarthy and Adam Gase, the Jets and the Cowboys. Those are the only two teams in the NFL this season that have yet to win a game against the spread. They're both 0-6. There is one spot that jumps out to me, the Packers this week in Houston against the Texans. Green Bay is 10-0 against the number coming off of a loss in the last 10 games. Also, I am also on the Packers. I I'm love glad, the Packers I'm this week. I'm glad we are on there. See, everyone yeah. listening? That's why you got to follow both of us. Consensus. Yeah, I really like Green Bay a lot this week. Pittsburgh and Tennessee, I think, is the game of the week. I think the Steelers win that game. It's going to get up to three, I think. It might it might get north of three. If it gets to three and a half, that's when I'd probably come off of it. But I, I think Pittsburgh's a really tough football team. And I, I think Tennessee's had the benefit of facing some teams in some really bad spots. And they really should have lost that game on Sunday, to be honest with you. So uh, it, I, I, I can see Pittsburgh having a good result this weekend. And I think Pittsburgh and Green Bay are probably my two best spots so far on the board. All right. Well, Jared, thank you so much for coming on with me. Absolutely. Let's make some money. <laughs> Let's make some money. All right, y'all. That's all I have for this week. Hopefully you got the three things out of that video that you needed to. Gay sucks. McCarthy sucks. And Jared and I like the Packers. Best of luck and let's make some money.